For the past two years, sweet potato growers have relied on disaster assistance to make ends meet. But finally, Mother Nature is cooperating. As Toby Blanchard shows us, ideal weather during harvest season helps sweet potato farmers get their crop in just in time for the holidays. After two dismal years where sweet potato growers watched their crop rot in the field from too much rain, they finally got the harvest they've been hoping for. The dry fall allowed for a smooth harvest and a good crop. This is not going to completely uh, obliterate the years that we saw in 2008 and 2009, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Smith says some farmers got out of planting sweet potatoes after last year. But this year's crop will allow farmers that stayed in business to repay some of the debt they've accumulated. She also says yields across the state are average, and it appears the quality may be up. Usually in a hot, dry season, uh, the quality of the crop, the sweetness of the crop are improved compared to other years, and so we should see a great marketing year for Louisiana sweet potatoes. Some potatoes were damaged by the sugarcane beetle. Many farmers reported problems with this insect, including Oak Grove sweet potato grower Ricky Abels. It causes a little hole about a half inch diameter, uh, maybe several uh, spots on the potato, and it uh, knocks it out of the number one grade into a, a either a number two or a canner. Despite the damage, Abel's is happy with his crop. Louisiana farmers grew about 14,000 acres of sweet potatoes, with about 10 percent of the acreage in the new variety Evangeline. Smith expects acreage of Evangeline and overall acres to increase next year. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, this is Toby Blanchard with the LSU Ag Center. The new ConAgra Lamb Weston Sweet Potato Processing Facility held its grand opening last month near Delhi. That facility makes sweet potato fries and will likely require Louisiana farmers to grow more sweet potatoes to meet that demand.